Hi everyone. The project is complete. I have done all the fixing and making and so on. So let me just to show you what is this about. This is about the TPA 3110 D2 and it's inside here. So first let me just show you this without these two it was the base Sony uh, speaker and I just cut these two holes and put those uh, Sony 15 watts 6 ohms speakers in here and I cannot open these because they are sealed all of these holes are sealed from inside and now I'm going to open it and show it to you after I show you the settings on the side so these are the three volume uh, adjustments this is the volume this is the triple and this is the base uh, volume and I added a uh, on and off switch and the uh, uh, auxiliary jack and the input DC jack uh, that is 8 to 20 volt uh, it depends but today we are going to test this with a 12 volt 2 amp and I have added this light here this is not a light actually this is a reflective uh, plastic. I salvaged this from one of the printers uh, or uh, the modems that I had and I utilized it here because I didn't want to make any holes for the light to shine through because it has a, a power in red light and a blue light for the Bluetooth so we are going when I turn it on you can see this and uh, let's see first the inside of it if it's a little bit messy please forgive the mess because this unit is fully sealed and I open this first let me show you the speakers So these are the speakers that I told you, the Sony 15 watts 6 ohm each and this is the 4 ohms 30 watt, about 30 watt uh, the subwoofer and there is nothing else in here and the mess here that you see is the, I had to seal both of these properly uh, in order to avoid any sort of escape of uh, air and the reason that I'm not going to uh, screw these off to show you what is happening at the top is because I seal I have sealed all the screws here with the glue gun so there is not much to see in here so let's go and have a look at the inside what I have done I take this forward and here is nothing it's just the body and this body of the, the plastic is really thick at least is uh, about five millimeters and here is all my setup and I get my torch here to just guide you here this is the DC in that is fully sealed with the glue gun and the auxiliary jack I had to seal this because the air was gushing through the uh, auxiliary jack hole 
and it was making some sort of a buzzing noise and then here is the power uh, on or off uh, rocker switch and here again the air was making a buzzing noise when I when it was um, you know escaping through the gaps so I had to fully seal all around it and here is the TPA 3110D2 that I had to seal it and I I don't know if you can see it there is a reflective uh, plastic um, uh, part here that is through there uh, shining the red light and blue light through that piece of plastic and out through the other side from there so and all the cables here they are fully secured via these gaps that we are having here they are not moving upon at all and I am going to somehow uh, check this afterwards and if they are moving I'm going to uh, maybe um, uh, strap them to the sides or glue gun them down yeah, but um, all in all this is my setup and now I'm going to shut this via these 12 screws and uh, Oh, I wanted to show you that there is a seal going on here and let me just show you that and then after that I'm going to um, screw all of this back in and then uh, we are going to have a listen if you look at all of this this is the plastic that is going to seal all around here via these 12 screws that is holding it back properly and the uh, uh, secret to having a good quality sound is to obtain the absolute seal inside this unit and I think 95% or 98% I have achieved that so now is the uh, test time that I'm going to shut this down and screw it firmly together and then we are going to have a test thank you for the time being so I see you in a second by the magic of the camera so I put this all back together now via those 12 screws because they are deep is really difficult to just uh, put them back in and now I'm going to show you the light that I was telling you let me just turn these lights off and if I turn this unit on you can see the light here uh, this is the power and immediately after that the Bluetooth is coming on and if your Bluetooth is on, the Bluetooth uh, blue light is going to stay on. So now we are going to have a demonstration first at a normal uh, volume. And okay, the, because it's very strong this unit, so we are not going to go half even halfway because the halfway is going to be really loud and my Bluetooth so you are going to connect the Bluetooth there is a slight humming noise but it's not too much that you can be annoyed by that so now we are connected 
and we are going to listen to the song that we always play is Max Play One and here it is. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. And remember, this is just the normal. Yeah. And now I'm turning the trip uh. to the maximum. Now, the bass to the maximum. And now, I'm raising the volume to maximum. I'm from here. without any bass and this is without any treble I don't know the treble is just the treble is just you know cut off the volume something must be wrong here So that was the demonstration. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. So I'm going to conclude this video that is about the TPA 3110D2 which is 2.1 channel uh, amplifier board that is uh, it can uh, handle from 4 ohms up to 8 ohms and uh, um, uh, the voltage uh, that is accepting is 8 volts up to 20 volts and uh, is capable of 15 watts per channel and 30 watts for the base and I hope uh, this was useful to you guys and fully I recommend this if you have all of your settings with your speakers and the speakers uh, you know if anyone wants to have these speakers they can leave a comment and then I get back to them with the name of the seller anyhow so that was the video and I just wanted to show you that this unit it has a, it could be uh, lying on the table like this or standing up like so uh, against the wall or something because I have added a little bit of pad very soft pads here to avoid it from slipping and believe me, at the full base, this unit doesn't vibrate at all. Only the speakers are going to vibrate. Anyhow, thanks for watching and until my next video, take care of yourself and each other. And as always, have a great time.